Hey nesters, it's Nicole Nesting Haven. Today I am filming for you a Goodwill thrift haul. Today I got everything for 25% off with my discount card. I purchased a bunch of clothing as well that I'm not going to show in this video. So that's why I got the extra discount. Um, I got to a certain total. So I am going to go ahead and show you what I did end up picking up. You can see one guy right here. And so the first thing I picked up is this little Mr. Winkers owl. I don't know what his real name is, but I'm just calling it Mr. Winkers. <laughs> this really, really cute owl cookie jar. And he's in pretty good shape. I don't really see any real issues to him. It seems like it was handmade by Ruth Nickerson, so good job. <laughs> it's super cute. Now, online some of these that are, oh gosh some of these that are very similar to this have gone for a hundred up to two hundred dollars this is one that's a very specific that has pink around here around the eye part and so if you ever see that pick it up wow those are going for hot money now i think i think <laughs> i can sell him for around 50 to $65 online so I'm gonna you know look it over a little bit better make sure there's no condition issues really I don't think there are but I think he'll go for that much because from what I saw online these little winky owls go for quite a bit so I was happy to pick him up so I have finally bit the bullet and have opened my Etsy shop now it's not open right this second I am working on it but it will be open this week for sure I just got a link like my bank account and stuff like that. So yeah, I just got a few few more things to add. But I was starting to look for more items to put in my Etsy shop because you can only sell vintage on there. Well, handmade stuff, but vintage specifically, you know, in my realm. <laughs> so you guys know I pick up a lot of kind of collectible kind of stuff usually for my antique booth because, you know, I can get away with that there and can do that and I sell on Facebook Marketplace. But Etsy is a little different, so I'm really, you know, looking a little bit more for vintage stuff specifically. And this is an item that I really liked. I wanted to keep it myself. And I was like, you know, I'll, you know, I'll pick it up. It'll probably sell really well on Etsy. Well, what it is, is a set of one, two, three, four, six, seven. That's a random number. Seven coasters and this beverage tray here. They have these pressed butterflies in each of them. They're all a little bit different. And these are from the 70s, I believe. I think these are super cute. Now, I didn't look at the comps when I bought it. It was only $5, so my discount, $3.75, I believe. And let me tell you, Etsy is peppered with these. There are so many. And I was surprised that these only sell for around $15 to $20 for the nice tray. This is glass. These have glass on them here. And it's such a cute set. So needless to say, I'm keeping this myself because that averages out if I sold it pretty close to about $1, $1.50 an item. And I think it should be worth way more than that. I think these sets should go for about $40, my opinion. But I'm going to keep it anyways. And... Maybe the market on them will go up in the future, but yeah, I got myself a nice little beverage set here and I'm happy about it. <laughs> the next items I picked up are these vintage trivets here. I have quite the hefty collection of these myself. I hang them up as kind of a border around my bedroom and I just think they look cool. So I always grab these when I see them for cheap. They were marked a dollar, so I got two for 75 cents and these, you can sell these online. They'll go for about $5 a piece, but I'm keeping these myself. So maybe I'll let some go in the future, but for now, I'm still collecting them. I need a few more to complete my border. <laughs> so the next item I picked up is this really gorgeous floral trinket box. It's this kind of plastic material. It is made in Hong Kong. So this I only paid 75 cents for. It was originally in a set of three and they kind of like nest inside of each other and these do not sell for very much online unfortunately so this will be a booth item a set of three i saw sells for maybe five dollars <laughs> if you're lucky um, plus some shipping but yeah this will go in the booth probably for five dollars by itself and yeah 
a little bit of profit there, but not as much as I would hoped. And then I picked up this really pretty jar here with the nice florals on it. And it's just a ceramic piece. It says under this uh, Atlantic company, Mo Mocha or something, Molo. I'm not quite sure, it's engraved there underneath. I haven't had a chance to look this up yet. I actually didn't even realize it had an engraving on it, so I just thought it was just some kind of random handmade piece or something. So I will definitely look that up to see, you know, what the price comps on these are. I might put this on my Etsy. I paid $2.25 for it with my discount there, and I think it's super cute. I'm tempted to keep it myself because I really enjoy florals, but, you know, I got to resell some stuff here. So I think I'm going to put this in Etsy and... The price is yet to be determined. I gotta look that up. And then I found this really neat vintage Nashville bar tray, I guess it's called. This is an older one. It's made in Hong Kong. I paid 75 cents for it. I couldn't find this exact one online, but I think I found a few similar enough that I think I could get between 15 to $20 for it. And you know, it's in pretty great condition overall. The back's a little scratched up, but typical of older, you know, vintage items. And yeah, so I'll probably throw this on Etsy and we'll see how it does. So this next piece I got, I think it's a hot air balloon. I couldn't find anything on this. I, it seems to be older. It's a real heavy glass. It has that older glass feel to it. It kind of looks like this on the bottom, like a little star snowflake. I don't really know what it is. But I think it's a hot air balloon because if you go like this, right? Isn't that what it looks like? It's a cute little trinket dish. I only paid 75 cents for it. And I have no idea what to do with it <laughs> because I don't really know if it's vintage or not. So I'm not sure if I should put it on Etsy. I might just put it in my booth. Um, but I mean, vintage on Etsy only has to be 20 years, which would be what? $19.99 now yeah so maybe <laughs> if you guys have any information on this please let me know I couldn't find anything on it so I also picked up these adorable little salt and pepper shakers these say Australia across the bottoms of them it's a little kangaroo and koala bear <laughs> I wanted to say panda bear for some reason and they kind of hug like this it's really cute they're in pretty good overall condition the Koala bear has some cracking, like glaze cracking issues, which is unfortunate. Someone, you know, stored it in a cold or too hot place. But, you know, it's still totally usable. It has little plugs in it. And I don't really think it takes away from the overall look of them. So I think I'm still going to try to resell these on Etsy. I paid, let's see, $2 for the set. So $1.50 for the set. And I think I'm going to try to sell them around $12 for the set. Um, I've never really sold, uh, sold salt and pepper shakers before, so I'm not really sure the going rate. But I think these ones are a little bit more unusual and um, subject matter. So I think 12 is probably a fair price. So yeah, I think those are cute. Next thing I picked up are these home interior butterfly gold flowery things. Uh, you put these on your wall for decor. And I actually really like these. These ones aren't in the best condition. There's some tarnishing and they're kind of bent a little weird and stuff, which, you know, I probably could straighten out a little bit. I'm not sure about the metal tarnishing too much, but they might still sell as is. But I'm going to hang on to these anyways. If you were to get these and resell them, I think they go for about $20 for the set of two. So they do have, you know, other ones that aren't just like butterflies and flowers, but they tend to be pretty much the same look. An idea but yeah I'm happy to add these to my collection I'll just clean them up a little bit and use them for my own decor probably in the bathroom okay so the last item I picked up is this really pretty pottery piece here it's a cute little vase it's a small you know quite small one it's in this really gorgeous blue and kind of mixed with brown here I paid a dollar fifty for it I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this on Etsy or in my booth I'm a little I don't know, I f it seems like the pottery market on Etsy seems a little bit flooded, but it's a really nice piece, so I don't know. I think, I paid $1.50 for it, so I think I'm gonna pay, uh, pay sell it for $12. I'm so tired, I can't even talk or think today. Um, my son's teething, my one-year-old, so I haven't got much sleep. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really nice piece, and 
I'm tempted to keep it myself, but I kind of decorate more vintagey. And not that this isn't, you know, vintage per se. I don't, I mean, I guess it's just like handmade. So I don't know. <laughs> I told you I'm tired. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, I'm going to sell this anyways. <laughs> So that is my last item that I picked up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know below what your favorite item was and stay tuned for the link to my Etsy shop this week at some point and you guys can go check it out. And I do plan on giving my viewers a 10% discount if there's anything you guys see in my future hauls that you want to purchase. You know, just if you watch, you'll get the code so you'll be able to get that discount. And as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.